Assalamu alaikum. Hey guys, I'm back and once again welcoming all of you to my new video tutorial on Python scripting in ArcGIS. Today, this video tutorial will be giving you a very complete and clear instructions and guidelines regarding where and how to write your own Python scripting in your ArcGIS or ArcMap software. Uh, basically today I'll be showing you a very handy way where you will learn how easily and rapidly you will accomplish your buffer analysis process just by writing your one-line code. I repeat you just need to pin your one-line code and trust me you will get the result. So without further delay let's straight away jump into our tutorial. Okay, uh, before things get started, let me just show you where I'm working right now and which platform I'll be using to demonstrate rest of these tops relevant to this tutorial. Uh, as far as the interface is concerned, uh, I'll be using ArcMath and I have with me two shift files, one is the district boundary of Bangladesh and the second one is the road network shift file uh, and this is situated somewhere between Thakurgao and Panchagar district. So for this tutorial purpose, uh, I'll be using uh, this uh, road network shift file to show you how to make buffer June or buffer area from this road network. So to do so, uh, first and foremost thing that you need to bear in mind is that you have to locate or trace out the Python window where it is located in your art map. As I have already been acquainted with the location, so let me just walk you through the pathway where it is situated. Okay, look at this. This is the Python window and it is placed right after the Arc toolbox and next to the model builder. So to make it appear on your screen, you just need to click and it will be automatically, I mean, appearing on your interface. Then the next thing is very easy. You just find out the search bar from your Arc map and I have already done this and type a keyword called buffer and you will get all the relevant result to your search uh, like this one. Out of this, we'll be using this option. Uh, it's under ArcPy module that's gonna be used, uh, I mean, to perform our buffer analysis operation. So to do so, first of all, I need to just clean all the existing file, all the existing script that I have done earlier, although it won't create any harm if I keep uh, keep it intact, but as I am intending to show you a brand new scripting, so better to, uh, I mean, erase it. So to do so, first of all, just uh, click here and Ctrl plus A, uh, select, go down and clear all. Okay, now start scripting. First of all, drag this option and here, look at this ArcPy, this is a module that I have talked already, very recognized and commonly used in Python, especially for ArcGIS. And the next part of this line is buffer analysis. This is a function and under this function, we're gonna uh, put our uh, code. So uh, before writing all the things uh, wholeheartedly, let me just, uh, I mean, tell you, there are three codes that will be inserted. First, uh, first code uh, would be regarding your input file. Our here is, uh, our here input file is road. And the second thing is your output feature, output file that where you will be depositing your output feature, uh, feature file. And the last but not the least one is at buffer distance how many meter or feet, etc. you will create a buffered area 
uh, in both sides of your road. As I'm intending to create a uh, 150 meter buffer area in both sides of road, so my buffer distance will be 150. Uh, I have said this right now. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so let's just get started scripting our code. So what is the uh, I mean input file here road. Okay. So let me just type road and put it in inverted comma because all we know I mean road it's a string uh, uh, I mean value and a string value should be uh, should be within an inverted comma and when you have more than one string value uh, one string value should be separated using a comma between them so another string is coming up so I have just to use a separation comma and then it started another string and another string is that our output file what would be my output file look at this this is the output file okay under uh, education file tutorial material and tutorial output okay go to uh, the tutorial file and click there okay look at this it get shortened it uh, so Control plus C copy sorry sorry Control plus C and go come back to your Python window and Control plus V paste it one warning sign popped up and that is the backward slash in Python backward slash in this case particularly backward slash should be converted into forward slash okay why because this is a convention in Python I will explain it in a later video so let me just put forward slash instead of backward slash as a convention sorry uh, forward slash and the last forward slash should be uh, at the end why because uh, after that we will put the name our output file so as it's gonna be I'm in 150 meter buffer zone buffer area so uh, let's just uh, keep that name in our file as well so buffer 150 okay so our output file coding is uh, over here and let me just uh, I mean close the inverted comma so another file e, another coding is gonna be started so I have used the uh, separation comma and starting an inverted comma okay that is buffer distance 100 150 uh, meters and close the inverted comma okay last thing but this is very important okay uh, uh, all these codes are under uh, a bracket that means second bracket so we start a second bracket you have to you have to I repeat you have to uh, I mean close your second bracket otherwise the code won't be run so I have to just follow that rule as well then you are all done one click is away just to get your result right now so what is that just click the enter button okay i hope yes my uh, process is started uh, i mean yeah okay so now look at this uh, already our process has been successfully run and we have all also got our result output result in our hand it's pop uh, popped up uh, in our interface as well so uh, we have already done before i mean concluding one thing i would draw your attention that the elapsed time for so now look at this 
uh, the whole process it took 4.3 seconds to be performed so how quickly how rapidly python function uh, module and all together scripting i mean can uh, be speedy and uh, it's really amazing to think about that there is a big big thing i mean going there hiddenly although we, we cannot see it just took i mean 4.3 seconds to perform all these things under one umbrella anyway so before concluding uh, i want to just remind you and uh, take you to one very interesting assessment that we have done so this is done by a machine and we can just uh, determine the accuracy how it has uh, done at what extent of accuracy it has delivered with us so we have made a buffer area uh, of road network in both side so we can measure it as well to do so we can use a a tool called measure here is that where is that okay this one measure uh, the distance as we used i mean uh, meter unit so this is the main road that was the original uh, road we have made buffer area from this road in both side here uh, should be 150 meter also uh, the left side also should be 150 meter so let's go and check it out whether it has already uh, or whether it has uh, truly given uh, that accuracy to us so click there and distance meter okay so to get the more accuracy zoom it and click it there and here okay uh, look at this uh, the smaller window popping up here length is 150 point uh, i mean 59 meters so it's almost i mean accurate so what is what about the other side left side okay it's also one point one fifty point two three meter uh, the this slightly distortion is being showed because of my cursor is not placed in the proper uh, i mean point that's why otherwise it it would have been i mean showed the exact value of 150 meter so that's all and this is how we can get the quick result using python script just writing one line python code and you get the result i hope you guys like my video if you did so please do subscribe to my channel i will come up with another new video till then bye bye